Hello and welcome to How to Play Laden, a game for two players. This game comes to us from dominoplay.com. It is a two-player domino game similar to the domino game Matador, which we might cover later. You're going to have four different Matadors. These are dominoes whose pip values equal seven and the double zero. These will be treated as wild cards to be played in line or perpendicular with the exception of the double zero. And to show you an example there at the bottom, any time a domino meets with another domino, the pip values that touch must be equal to seven unless, of course, you are playing a wild card. In this case, we have played a matador, so the 4-3 can be played on the 5-3 because the pip values do not necessarily have to match. And with the matadors, you can play them in line or you can play them uh, vertically or in the case of uh, pure definitions, perpendicular to the rest of the layout. Whoever has the lowest domino is going to start us out, and that domino will be played perpendicular. So we'll just move that from time to time. Now, all four uh, spaces on that domino can be played upon. Here we have a double two, so we have anything with a five will make a seven. And then after that, anything touching just has to make a seven. So we see a six one on the five, six, one, three domino going north and south. Um, now, normally you position these uh, doubles in a vertical sense. Now, as soon as somebody goes out, uh, the other player will then count the pips they have remaining in their dominoes. So in this case, south gets five points, north is at zero. Similar to Yana, this is a countdown game. Now, normally you'd keep your domino hands secret. Uh, whoever lost the previous round will go first. They can play any domino they want. Um, and because we had a 5-2 as a matador with the player to the north side to keep it which is your right to do you're allowed to then draw from the deck as many times as you want or from the boneyard excuse me this is a domino game you can draw from the boneyard as many times as you like until you have a play that can be made you must stop drawing dominoes once the boneyard is down to two dominoes if that occurs then the game itself is going to end uh not the game itself the hand is going to end and everybody who has dominoes left in hand is going to score that amount. And this keeps on going in this same process over and over until we have a score of 100 uh, or another pre-agreed upon amount. So there we had a double two. We played a matador immediately to it. We played it vertically so a three or four can be played on it. Uh, both uh, all four sides of the two can be played. And then we saw a 5-0 followed by the double zero, followed by another Matador, the 1-6 played perpendicular. You can play the Matadors in line and let only one side be used, but if you play it perpendicular, you allow both sides to be used. Now, occasionally you will find in this game where nobody has a Matador, you can keep drawing from the top. Um, so the previous loser will start the next round off but if uh, they do not have a double in hand they can draw until they do or they can refuse and force the other player to draw if neither player has a double uh, then they will just uh, reshuffle the dominoes and redraw six dominoes each and then start the whole process over so every round you're drawing six dominoes into your hand until the game is over until the round is over at least uh, until somebody has cleared out their hand or the game locks up. The other possibility is that neither player can make a possible move, and if that happens, you're both going to be scoring positive points. Now, that three is played in line, but just for the sake of conserving space, we went ahead and played it up and down. Uh, now, there's no further drawing of dominoes at this point because we are down to only two do dominoes in the boneyard, so therefore nothing else can happen. And now we uh, will score whatever's left in hand and start all over again with a new hand. And this game just keeps going like this until somebody scores 100 points. If both players score 100 points on the same uh, round, then whoever has the lowest score will win the game. Very simple, very easy to do. If you have any confusion, definitely check with the, with the rules that will be linked in the description below. Uh, I found this game to be pretty fascinating very interesting way of doing things a very different type of connecting game um, and one of the things too is that a lot of people are just not aware that there are other domino games out there that there are other ways to play dominoes rather than the mainstream games that you know of and most people don't know the names of those games anyways whether you're playing fives and tens or you're playing muggins 
they don't necessarily know the names, but they know there's some way they played dominoes back in their home country or back in their ancestral lands, but they have not really fully explored all the different domino games yet, and hopefully we will cover a lot more of them. There's a plenty of games out there featuring double six dominoes, which you can explore. And this one is basically, like a lot of domino games, a shedder are a uh, first to uh, get a better score when the situation locks up, which happens quite often in this game. Every once in a while, you will have a situation that will lock up. Uh, so there we put our spinner um, perpendicular. We have not been doing that, but we'll do it here. And we'll just keep going until we cannot make any more plays. Or somebody has emptied their hands. So they always see two different Matadors have been played. Both players are using this to their advantage. Uh, North does not have a domino, so he has to keep going to the Boneyard until he can make a, a possible play. South is having to do the same exact thing. And once uh, the hand is empty, now we're at two dominoes. So now we have to see if there's any other plays we can make. There's not. So South will have scored 11 points. North will have scored the pip value he has. And like always, if you actually want to play some dominoes out in public, come to our subreddit card game meetups. Post what games you know, what games you want to play, and what public place and what city you want to play this in. Do click under the show more in the description for the rules, the uh, music, the link to the Discord server where you can talk about domino games. There is a section for dice and dominoes, and it's very rarely used. So those of you who love dominoes, feel free to come. We need more domino players. So like always, call your friends, ask them if they like to play some dominoes. They might say yes, and they might say no, or they might talk your ear off. But the important thing is to call them and ask. Do like, subscribe, and share these videos with people you know love playing card games. Be sure to vote in this month's Game of the Month poll. I want to thank today's musician, and I'll see everybody next video.